Okay, guys, some of you guys have asked about the grain line um, and how to move your grain line or set your grain line. Honestly, I don't really know the answer. I can't figure out the best answer. Um, this is what I've got so far. I'll also email Chloe to see if they have any ideas. But make sure your grain line showing. So if you go to the 2D info button, um, you can say show grain line. I don't think you're able to select a grain line. I actually drew an internal line right there. Um, I don't think you can select the grain line. That would be kind of neat. I'm going to right click and just double check. Um, lock, 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 lock. No unlocks. I don't know. I, I don't think you can. <laughs> but anyways, our red line is where the grain line should be. So right now the grain line's off. It needs to be parallel to this red line. So the best thing I can come up with is selecting the pattern um, and then going down to fabric grain direction and just changing this measurement. So like if I first just take a guess and put in 10, okay, that's too much. So maybe let's try five. Um, that's looking better, but I think it's still kind of tilting. So why don't I try four? Um, and I hate this because it's not like totally exact. Like I'm kind of eyeballing it here. I mean, it's better than what it was. It's just, it's supposed to be the same direction as this, you know, our yellow line, which was our baseline. Um, I guess that looks good. Um, it kind of makes me unhappy that it's not, I'm not controlling it. Like I didn't type in a number or I didn't say match the grain line. So I am questioning if this is the best way, but for now I'm able to change the grain direction here with this tool, but um, stay tuned. Maybe I can find a better way for you guys, but just wanted to share this little video for now.